Hello, Gemini. I hope you had a beautiful, relaxing weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Gemini, you want <clears throat> a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini, for Gemini's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Gemini in their life and how is gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for gemini in the life and how is gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey let's see Ooh. So you love your soulmate, but you feel like this relationship is not working out after all. You still love them, though, but you feel like it's not working out for you. Yeah. Oh, the person loves you a lot. The one you've been dealing with that you still love. You're not sure where this is going. You're not, you're not sure what to expect from this connection from this person. Yeah, you guys are so connected. It looks like it's not the end after all. Yeah, something is going to happen where the two of you will have a chance to really communicate and make that decision through proper communication without guessing what the other person is thinking or feeling or planning. You see? So... A lot of problems with this with this relationship in the past. Breakups, getting back together. Breakups, getting back together. Wow. I'm sorry you're going through so much, Gemini. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Gemini and how is Gemini currently doing on their summit journey. There's something going on with the two of you. You need to really sit down and be honest with each other. You are checking up on this person heavily to see what's going on, what they're thinking, feeling, planning. You love this person a lot. You really do. Yeah, you really love this person a lot. You're not sure if this is truly the end or not. This is you trying to not be swayed by your emotions in making your final decisions. You want to make those uh, decisions with your sound judgment, logic, intuition, not your emotions. There is something going on at your job. A lot of drama going on at your job. Yeah, a lot of drama, chaos, stressing you out. You feel like you always have to be on guard at your job. Like you can't just be yourself and just breathe. Like you always have to look over your shoulder, defend yourself. Yeah, a lot. You really don't belong in that chaotic environment. It's stressing you out. Yeah. You don't really enjoy your weekends because of what's going on at your job. A lot of chaos, drama gossip going on there yeah it's a very chaotic environment to work in very new job is showing up here for you so you work with a bunch of people that really are not they're so busy gossiping doing everything else they're not finishing their tasks yeah you really don't belong in that chaotic environment yeah so the job is not the problem the environment is the problem yeah, you're not sure what to do with your soulmate relationship. You're not sure what to do with your job. Well, you don't belong in that chaotic environment at your job. No. You're very drawn to your soulmate. Very attracted to them. Drawn to them emotionally, physically. Yeah, a lot of passion you have for this person and love. 
but something feels off to you. Universe, please show us. This has been at times toxic relationship and you recognize that. Yeah. Universe, please show us a lot of problems, miscommunication, misunderstandings. Universe, please show us uh, what's coming up for Gemini. Gemini, I'm so sorry you're going through so much right now. This is you trying to be patient to see clearly what to do next. You still love this person. You're in love with this person. Yeah. You really are in love with that person. This is you trying again to use your sound judgment, not to be swayed by your emotions in making final decisions. Yeah. You're not sure what to do. You feel kind of stuck, uh, not being able to see clearly what to do. This is you feeling a lot of confusion. Let me see what's going on with that person that you love so much. Yeah. You know, as we show us what is going on currently with the soulmate of Gemini that Gemini has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini? They're so sad, heartbroken, devastated, actually, that this is not working out. Yeah, they're very stressed out about this situation. A lot of stress on their shoulders. They feel you don't love them. They feel you're letting them go. That's what they think. They feel a lot of confusion. Yeah, this is them not reaching out at this time. Yeah, so there's somebody else in their life that's interested in them. Interesting. Let me see. Universe, please show us... <clears throat> What is going on currently with the soulmate? <clears throat> yeah. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Gemini? And how is that soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini <clears throat> at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, you see, somebody knew that they met. So there's somebody new that is interested in, in your soulmate. Yeah, the soulmate of yours is has a lot of confusion about this relationship at this time. This is them trying to figure out what's next. There are some people surrounding you and your soulmate that are kind of trying to influence this relationship that are into drama, gossip, chaos. Be careful who you trust with your personal information, who you consider your friends to be. Yeah. The person is holding on to grudges towards you. Yeah. They, they feel a lot of bitterness, bitter feelings inside that they really need to discuss with you. The two of you should really sit down and have a very frank conversation in a neutral place yeah without shouting screaming pointing fingers at each other you really need to communicate honestly openly with each other yeah yeah so this person showing up as attractive alluring people are easily attracted to this person of yours yeah, <clears throat> a lot of confusion between you two. You really need to communicate with each other. So there's something hidden. So be careful because there are some people around you and this person that don't want to see this relationship work out are putting their 15 cents in. Yeah, be careful who you trust. If you have any problems in a relationship, discuss it directly with your soulmate. Don't discuss it with your friend or neighbor or your relative or your whoever, discuss it with your soulmate. A lot of people make a mistake of discussing their uh, soulmate relationship problems with somebody other than their soulmate. No. If you want to talk to someone other than your soulmate about your soulmate relationship problems, um, talk to a counselor or family therapist. Yeah, don't discuss your uh, drama that 
goes on in your soulmate relationship with your family members or your friends because they really are not going to help you, okay? They don't know what's best for you. They're just going to create more confusion in your mind. To really understand what's going on with your soulmate relationship, talk to your soulmate, right? Yeah. <clears throat> your soulmate loves you a lot, but they also have a lot of misunderstanding. They don't understand a lot. And the two of you really need to sit down and communicate with each other openly, effectively, in a calm way, right? Universe, please show us. Hmm, there's too many people gossiping around you about this relationship. Universe, please show us. This just switched over. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini? Yeah, so there's somebody new in their life that is, inter yeah, somebody new that is interested in your soulmate. But I don't think your soulmate sees it yet. They have a lot of confusion. Wow. Gemini, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate. We also, oh, I'm curious what's going to show up on the person that is interested in them. We're also going to ask about new soulmates entering your life, Gemini. Right? Yeah. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine long-term intentions and plans for you at this time what are they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Gemini, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.